Zoe Kravitz is an actress I'm mostly known from superhero properties like the X-Men franchise and obviously her as Catwoman in the Batman. But the more you discover her life, the more surprising you get with who and what Kravitz is involved with. One being that her parents is Lenny Kravitz, who's a famous singer especially back in the day, and her mom is Lisa Bonet who played Denise in The Cosby Show. Then Kravitz's stepfather was Aquaman Jason Momoa, and she's dating Channing Tatum. That's just a little bit of Kravitz's life that I was surprised knowing about. Now, Zoe Kravitz is a director, and she's directing this new movie called Blink Twice with her fiance, Channing Tatum, as one of the leads. The movie is about this girl named Frida, who works two jobs being a nail artist and a cocktail waitress. Frida one night hangs out with her friend, Jess, and encounters this Elon Musk slash Jeff Bezos type billionaire Slater King. Slater just dropped out as CEO of his company for his behavior and pu publicly apologizes. Slater invites Frida and her friend Jess to his very own island with his friends and acquaintances. But the more Frida and her friend Jess stay on the island, the weirder it gets. For Zoe Kravitz's first directed movie, I thought it was solid. Let's just start off with the direction of Blink Twice. And I will say Zoe Kravitz was better than I expected directing this movie. Usually a first time director who gets the position from nepotism or usually to put it nicely, not ready. This past year, very well known director M. Night Shyamalan had one of his daughters, Ishana Night Shyamalan, a chance to direct a movie called The Watchers. And let's just say she needed more experience. Kravitz, however, in Blink Twice was able to get her sense of style in the movie. You can tell Zoe Kravitz was influenced by her parents with her music choices. Without spoiling, there is an action sequence that involves a Beyonce song and you can tell Zoe Kravitz was going for a woman empowerment scene. Also, Kravitz gives you clues solely that you couldn't catch until you remember by the end of the movie. And you know what? It was really effective. It caught me off guard with the twists and turns Kravitz made in the movie. So Zoe Kravitz did a good job being a first time director. The themes of abuse, power dynamics, and celebrity worship were the interesting parts of the movie. Today we see on the news with not just Hollywood, but content influencers, and even the people in real life are unfortunately in these categories. One of the biggest news of the summer was Diddy getting exposed for using his power to abuse the people in his life. So it was very noticeable that someone like Zoe Kravitz would get into these types of themes with the celebrities she hang around with and who her parents had worked with in the past. In Blink Twice, we see Channing Tatum's character Slater King is one of those celebrities who has abused their status and using the typical PR apology you see from other celebrities that get into trouble. Again, not to get to any spoilers, but from the trailers, you can get a hint that Frida and her friend being in the island with Tatum and his friends was a red flag. In the beginning, you can see how much Frida really likes Slater and just ignore all the red flags that is around her and her friend Jess. There were a few issues that I had with Blink twice that Zoe Kravitz can improve on whether she directs her next movie. In certain parts of Blink twice, it will get very repetitive and you'll start to get bored with how many times they do certain scenes. Here is one example I can give you because you see from the trailers what type of movie this is. Obviously, all the characters are in this island partying, and Kravitz makes a point to how much they party that our main characters Frida and Jess start to get suspicious. And we get it the second time, but then the movie keeps going and making that point later in the movie, and it's like, alright, when is the plot going to move forward? We get that they're partying. Also, this is a little nitpicky, but I believe for most of the scenes, the songs overlap the actual score of the movie. I felt if Kravis gave us less of the actual music in between the scores, a certain scene that she creates would stand out more. But other than that, those two issues, I don't really have any complaints for, for Blink Twice. Zoe Kravis has shown that she's not only a solid actress, but she's able to make a movie that's about a difficult subject like abuse and celebrity worship. 
When you have a mom like Lisa Bonet, who was in a show with someone that's widely known for these issues that you're talking about on the film, it really stands out. I thought Blink Twice was just going to be a regular thriller, and it is, but there is more on the surface with its themes of abuse, power dynamics, worship, and behavior issues, especially with what's been going on for the past couple of years. All the actors did a really good job, from Channing Tatum as Slater King as this Elon Musk type character, Naomi Aki as Frida, Aaliyah Shakat as Jess, another actress Adrena Adrona as Sarah, Haley Joe Osment, and the rest of the cast does a great job with this movie. I'm really curious with what Zoe Kravitz does next with her direction. Obviously, I'm looking forward to her being Catwoman again in, Bat in the Batman Part 2. But Blink Twice has shown me that Zoe Kravitz has some potential to be a really interesting director for her next project. 